हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल दोस्त दैट इज डिग्री ऑनलाइन सर्विसेज ऑफ तेलंगाना इज द ऑनलाइन सेंट्रलाइज एडमिशन प्रोसेस फॉर यू जी कोर्सेज इन साइंस आर्ट्स एंड कॉमर्स स्ट्रीम कैंडिडेट्स हु हैव पास्ट इंटरमीडिएट विद मिनिमम क्वालिफाइंग मार्क्स आर एलिजिबल टू टेक पार्ट इन द दोस्त प्रोसेस टू गेट एडमिशन इन बी ए बी एस सी बी कॉम मास कम्युनिकेशन एंड टूरिज्म कोर्सेज offered by various government and private colleges across Telangana the entire admission process of those is online and the eligible candidates can also register through a mobile application that is t app folio all the details with regards to ts those such as dates registration process web options process seat allotment etc can be checked from this video TS Dost Counseling Dates The candidates can check the link provided in the video description to check the counseling dates for TS Dost where they can find the complete schedule for the process Now let us look at the eligibility criteria which the candidates need to fulfill in order to participate in the TS Dost process The candidates who have passed intermediate in MPC or bpc or cec or mec or hcc or vocational with minimum qualifying marks are eligible to participate in those the candidates who have passed intermediate in the past year can also take part in the admission process the candidate must note that the eligibility for bsc in science course is mpc or bpc students from any stream in intermediate can take admission to ba courses The online dost registration portal will show the list of eligible courses while filling the form which will be based on the candidate stream in the intermediate level. Now let us look at the documents which are required for TS dost admission process. Scanned copy of Aadhaar card, scanned copy of intermediate marks memo, scanned copy of bridge course certificate if applicable scanned copy of ncc or sports or physically handicapped certificate if applicable and scanned copy of passport size photograph which should be color ts dost pre registration before filling the online application form for ts dost the candidates need to complete the pre registration process and pay the registration fee for that they can follow the given steps First click on the direct link mentioned in the video description or you can also visit the official website of dost at dost.cgg.government.in click on the option that indicates candidate registration select the qualifying board that is intermediate or equivalent enter the ts intermediate hall ticket number enter your date of birth All the details related to candidates such as name, gender, father's name will be automatically displayed on the screen. Enter the mobile number which must be linked to your Aadhaar card. Accept the declaration. Click on the option that indicates Aadhaar authentication. The DOST ID will be generated and the same will be displayed on the screen. The candidates will need to proceed with fee payment further. Now let us look at the registration fee for TS DOST. Once the pre-registration process is successful the candidates will need to pay a registration fee of rupees 200 the registration fee has to be paid online by using credit card or debit card or internet banking facility before proceeding with fee payment the candidates need to cross check his or her details displayed on the screen once the fee payment is done the candidates will receive dost id and six digit alpha numeric pin on their mobile via sms ts dost id and pin it is important for, to save that dost id and pin to log in on the dost portal for different purposes such as form filling web options and checking your seat allotment the candidates will receive these details on their mobile via sms after the successful payment of the registration fee Now let us look at the various steps which you need to fulfill in order to apply for TS Dost. The very first step is to log in. Firstly, the candidates will need to visit the official website and log in with their Dost ID and six digit PIN received on SMS. The next step is to upload photo, Aadhaar card and intermarks memo. The basic details of candidates are automatically displayed on screen such as name, date of birth, father's name. 
The candidates will need to upload the scanned images of passport size photograph and Aadhaar card. The size of scanned images should be less than 100 KB. The candidates will also be required to upload the intermediate marks memo. The next step is to fill the academic details. In this step, the candidates will need to fill in academic details. Academic details include intermediate group, marks secured, name of the colleges and other relevant details. The candidate must also enter their SSC that is class 10th hall ticket number. If the candidate passes any bridge course, the relevant scanned copy of the certificate has to be uploaded. The next step is to fill other details. In this step, the candidates need to fill in mother's name, father's name, candidate's blood group and identifying marks that is any mole detail on their body. The next step is to upload special category certificates. Candidates who have NCC or sports or PH certificate can upload the scanned copies of the certificate to attain reservation in the admission process. After the completion of the form, the filled in application form will be available for download and the candidates are advised to take the printout of the same. TS Dost Web Options Once the form filling process is complete, the TS Dost Web option will be activated. In this step, the candidates are required to choose the colleges and courses. The detailed web option process can be checked as given. The very first step is to log in on the DOST portal by using the same DOST ID and 6 digit PIN. The next step is to click on the option that indicates web options. Two options will be displayed on the screen, one search by course or second search by college. The next step is to select the appropriate option as given. The list of colleges will be displayed. You have to give a priority number to the colleges and courses, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4 as per your preference. You have to give top priority number to colleges and courses in which you are aspiring to get admission as a priority. Since there is no limit on the number of colleges and course options that a candidate can choose, it is advisable for the candidates to choose as much as option as they can to increase their chances of admission. The next step after filling the web options is to click on the option that indicates save web options with CBCS. The candidates will see two options, one is save options and clear options. If you are satisfied with the filled in web option, you have to select save options and log out. If you want to edit the option, you can select clear option and fill the fresh web options. TS Dost Seat Allotment Based on the web options field, the admission authority will process the seat allotment. Candidates marks in intermediate number of vacant seats available and web options shall be considered to allocate the seat. To check the seat allotment, the candidates need to log in with the same DOST ID and PIN. If the seat is allocated and the candidate is satisfied, he or she can accept the seat allotment and download the seat allotment letter. Such candidates will need to report to the college or complete online reporting within the specified dates. If the candidate is not satisfied with the seat allotment, he or she can reject the allotment and take part in the second round of the counselling. Now, let us look at the various participating colleges for TS DOST admission process. Kakatiya University, Mahatma Gandhi University, Osmania University, Palmoru University, Satavahana University and Telangana University. That's all for today. Thank you. We hope that the above information of TS DOST was helpful to you. If you still have any queries, you can ask through the Q&A section of College Deco at the provided link. Also, you can click on the links provided in the video description for additional details. For more updates on TS DOST and Telangana admissions, stay tuned to College Deco. If you like this video, do like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel.